So I just wanted to share some updates on our VTuber project. I've uh, added some new things that are really cool. So what we've been working on this week is adding the uh, the anime style shading uh, to the character. So I'm going to show you that first. So working in Unreal, um, we've been playing around with um, different ways of doing this. So we kind of settled for the um, adjusting the normals on the face uh, using a proxy. Uh, it's still got a lot of work to do on the body, as you can see with... Let's see if we can get the hands coming out. Um, I didn't line the proxy up properly for the um, arms and the hands, so you've got some weird shadows coming through. Uh, but you can see like at the top and the shoulders and stuff, it's, it's working pretty well. Um, I still have to do some work on the lip uh, facial expressions, because there's a lot more we can add to that. Um, they're very... I'm just using the ones that were came with the model, which is quite basic. I'm going to go in and completely adjust these and add a little bit more expression to it. And also, with uh, so we can see we've uh, we added outlines to the character, um, and we've got some nice shadows uh, that aren't going crazy with the face. And also, as you can see, if I walk over to this side, the uh, the textures and everything are all dynamic, so it'll react uh, with any light or anything in the scene, uh, which is really cool. Um, so I'm still playing around tweaking those, um, and you can see as well there's a lot of work that needs to be done on getting the spring bones for the hair and stuff working correct, um, but I've just kind of thrown them in there. Uh, they just need kind of tweaking and a bit of playing around, and maybe even um, I might look at adding some cloth dynamics to the hair instead, especially the, uh, the long one at the back. Uh, might get better results, but that's for another day. And then the next thing um, which I got working yesterday, which is really cool, is I've been playing around with setting these characters up with a green screen background, but I always find you get a bit of bleed and it doesn't really work too well. So if I go back to my menu and in the menu we go to overlay mode. So now if I take this character and move, move right out of the way and I come into OBS, you can see we've got this character set up and the way this is working is with um, the transparency turned on, so we'll turn transparency off. So there's no green screen, no NDI, um, all you need to do is bring it into Unreal and make sure that uh, allow transparency is turned on and, and it'll work. Uh, so uh, this uh, makes it a lot easier for setting up the character for doing some VTubing. I've also, I'm just playing around as well with adding a locked camera onto this character. So in that case, if we do that, uh, make it bigger, then if we use the um, walking left and right, you know, she can walk around. Let's see. If I move the mouse, sorry, it moves the camera, which the face is following, so testing, one, two. As you can see from the, like, the lip sync, it's not very flush. It needs um, more stuff, you need a bit of work. But uh, this is just an, uh, a new update on what we've been adding to the setup. If you have any ideas or any thoughts, let us know. Um, we're always trying to add more, more things in. Again, what we're trying to do is just make an easy VTuber app that works and we want it to work with any style of character whether it's something like Mo in the background or if it's um, an anime style character and as always if you ever want to chat about anything VTubing, character modeling, Unreal, Character Creator 4, Adobe, Anima uh, Adobe Character Animator, um, join us on our Discord, um, we're always happy to have a chat or give any advice.